Do you want to start a powerful patent search in just a few steps? Google Patents Advanced Search is going to give you that power and it is a lot easier than it sounds. I'm going to show you in just four steps how you can take advantage of that power. Step one is to brainstorm. I want you to brainstorm a dozen words that represent the features of your invention that make it stand out as something that is new. Why do you want to do this? The reason is, is that later to do a quality search, you're going to search deeply and having the correct words, not just something that you quickly came up with on the fly is going to allow you to take advantage of the value of those quality words. Step two is to select four features that best represent why you think your invention is new. After you do that, you're going to want to go to the website patents.google.com slash advanced. When you get there, click on the box that says plus synonym and type your first term. Every time you press enter, it takes you to a new box below. Then just enter your next term. It doesn't matter what order you put the terms in. If you have a phrase instead of an individual term, put the phrase in quotes. Once you have all four terms or phrases in separate rows, hit enter one more time. Step four, spend at least 10 minutes reviewing the results and writing down the document information for the best three results that you find. You want to review fairly deeply into the result. Why? because each result is a result you have likely not seen before. Novice searchers see the same five irrelevant results a dozen times. If you follow these easy tricks I'm about to show you, Google Patents Advanced Search will help you avoid this problem. It's just that simple, but Advanced Search allows you to do way more. Go back to the search term sidebar and put a minus sign in front of the first term. What just happened? When you put a minus sign, it removes that term from the search results. Why on earth would you search for results that don't have one of your most important invention features? The first reason is, is that if your invention is really new, and hopefully that's why you would think about applying for a patent application, then the most important reference may not have all of the features that you're looking for. Number two, you want to look in the places that are most likely to have the most features and getting rid of one of those search terms and uh, putting a negative sign in front of it or nodding out that search term is one of the best ways to do that. In this diagram, each bubble represents a search term, one of the four search terms that you're using in Google Patents Advanced Search. The place represented by one is where all of those search terms overlap. That is probably the most fruitful place to search. But if you want to search some of the other very fruitful areas like two, three, four, and five, using the negative sign or nodding out one of the search terms is what allows you to search just in that area. If you want to search just in area two, you would not out search term one. The advantage of searching in this way is that when you're in the search area number two, you're going to have a unique set of results that has little or no overlap with search area one. When you individually not out each of the individual search terms, you're going to get the results shown by areas two, three, four, and five. If you thought this video was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That helps other people find their way to this material. Also, there's additional resources at batonrougepatentattorney.com.